Hey fam, what's good? My name's Franklin. Welcome to Coco TV. I've been working on like a logo for one of the stories I'm writing. And even though it says prep, I think I'm gonna make it just like pre. And that was like originally intended, like power relief effort. If things if things change down the line, like plot wise, story wise, then like sure. But I came across an issue regarding exporting and Inkscape where things come out blurry. And I already know like raster imaging is essentially, it's going to be blurry because it covers everything from vector to pixel. That's fine, I understand that. I also, I just don't feel like that's something that happens as bad as it does in other drawing software, even photo editing software. Like, um, for example, like my DPI is like 96. My default stuff was like uh, physical DPI is zero. People said it is 72. I tried like everything under the sun. <laughs> I looked everything up. I tried every little method. It still wasn't giving what I needed. So I took a step back. I looked at different things. Like when you take it into GIMP, for example, you re-export it even at like 300 DPI. Some people have suggest doing it at 600 DPI. I would still get that issue. Like, this is me making a logo, not like a poster. I'm not making, like what I did with the Steven Universe poster back in June, I didn't have to um, worry about that as much. It still put it out pretty clear, but I think um, it's more about the design than the exporting. And you know, like, again, like this is like Inkscape, like maybe other software have better exporting capabilities, but, Working with what I have. Some people suggested like doing a grid. I did not try setting up a grid. Essentially, it's kind of like you're making pixel art because when it's rasterized, it's basically converted to pixels. But if I wanted to make pixel art, I would have sat down and made pixel art for that. You know, I just wanted to do a quick little vector. Like this is a vector program. I shouldn't have to resort to doing that if I don't want to. So I think this is the second time this is this this design is the first time I uh fixed it. I, I this, 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 this is the first time I redid the logo. <laughs> but I'm still having an issue with both with linear export exporting and cubic exporting where there's a lot of furriness around the ring or blurriness, pixel pixelation, it's pixelated around the ring, right? And I made a little quick little server to like test it out. And this is what I'm getting. Like y'all see that there. And I don't know, maybe that's my screen. That's probably just like, I don't know, like pixelation, whatever the issue is. One of the solutions that I'm considering is taking this design and fill this whole ring up with blue and then just cut out the part I don't want. So we're gonna try to do that. <laughs> Really gonna bother me to make a plate. So I'm trying to finish this. <laughs> I wonder this no more. <laughs> I have a whole character to design. I'm I'm doing I'm so stuck on doing this because even though I did a Steven Universe poster before this, my worry is that the finer details are gonna be super blurry. 
So be super pixelated. I won't know what to do. not all that pressed to um export these in GIMP as well like these just gonna be pings <laughs> until I need to get them in GIMP or get them as JPEGs but then you, you see the selection is at 2000 you click none Make it translucent or just take away the color, you know. Export as I'm looking at um black and white. This one looks sexy too, but I'm just like this one look like <laughs> it's just it's the, the density that it has around it that might actually be because originally again originally when I was thinking about the emblem it was going to be actually utilizing the color white so I like that it has like this black inkish feel like a seal of approval like I don't really need this version <laughs> matter of fact let's just see what he looked like I just didn't think I was gonna make something that looks like that. Save changes. Okay, 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 okay. I see you, I see you. What the flip look like? Like I might use one for digital, one for print. <laughs> if I ever decide to print it. Mm. That's giving loading screen. I like that. <laughs> I like them both. I like them both for different reasons. Like this is giving charcoal, that almost giving ink. They're both giving ink, but you know. But anyway, yeah, that's this video. <laughs> Those are like my solves for, I guess, everything specifically with logos. Because again, with the Steven Universe poster, I guess because it was a larger image, there was more going on than like the, the, simplicity that a logo takes shape in so like my solves make it thick <laughs> make it thick if you're using escape or find another software that does good by you and it's affordable for you you know you don't run across these issues i would love a drawing tablet goals <laughs> i want to draw a tablet mainly because i just want to draw i want to be able to just sit down and just draw stuff and i'm running out of paper so I would like to have like a machine that I could just charge and just go, you know.